It's great when you can come across a beautiful old piece of furniture like this one that's so functional. And I know that personally, I love nothing more than giving something like this a whole new lease on life. Absolutely, Leah. And we can show how easy it is to renew a piece of furniture like this in two easy steps. Simply paint and protect. But first, we're going to give it a light sand to clean it up. Let's go. Like any paint job, preparation is critical. So we want to sand down to get that nice smooth finish. Then what we want to do is dust off and wash down so we've got a perfect surface to start. Now the look that we're actually going for with this particular piece is a French antique look. So that basically means we're putting on a very bright colour as our first coat. And then once this is fully coated, we're gonna put a lighter colour over the top, which is much softer, and then give it a light sand. So in certain places we can see the brightness. Now normally when you paint these with a stain or a lacquer, you always wanna follow the grain to make sure you get that perfect finish. But here, because we're putting a nice thick liberal coat on, the only tip is use a quality brush that's going to hold a lot of paint and not leave hairs everywhere. Now we're up to using our second coat and for this, as you can see it's going on now, we're using a really lovely chalk paint and the beauty of chalk paint is it gives you that ability to have a slightly weathered aged look instead of completely covered. So that way we're going to have this lovely grey on top with flecks of the mint underneath. It's going to look great. And the trick is, that because you don't want to get that smooth finish, you want that second-hand aged look. So we're not trying to put it on perfectly smooth. Now you'll notice I'm using long strokes to apply the chalk paint. The reason for this is because chalk paint dries quite quickly and you want to make sure that it gives the effect of a natural ageing, not a slap, slap, slap around, I'm trying to make it look older. Now is the point where we can really get that aged effect happening and give it a real antique finish. The way we do that is just by giving, especially these corner bits, a light sand, and that way you can bring out the timber underneath, as well as that gorgeous mint that we had as our first coat. But you wanna make sure it's a subtle effect, it's way more powerful. So we've got the look we want now with our special chalk paint on our wardrobe, but here's the key. It's a wardrobe, it's gonna get banged up. We wanna give it a bit of extra protection. So we're applying a coat of our matte clear, using a quality brush, because we don't want hairs all over the place. Nice smooth strokes, you get a fantastic finish. Hasn't this wardrobe just come up a treat? And this is a really great example of some really lovely colour choices and a very simple effect to get this antique age look. What a look in two steps. We painted it, then we put our clear coat for protection, renewed the whole room. Take 